What's up, people? Welcome back to the Boxing Objective. What you saw there was the footage that has emerged of the exchange of words between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder in the end of their third fight. And in the time that has passed since this video has emerged, Deontay Wilder has released a statement his first official statement that he has released since the conclusion of the trilogy fight. And this is what he had to say. Wow, what a hell of a night. I would like to first and foremost thank God for allowing me to give the world another part of me that's driven with passion and determination. I would like to thank my team and my fans for sticking by my side through this long process. I would be lying if I said that I wasn't disappointed in the outcome, but after reflecting on my journey, I now see that what God wanted me to experience is far greater than what I expected to happen. We didn't get the win, but a wise man once said, the victories are within the lessons. I've learned that sometimes you have to lose to win. Although I wanted to win, I enjoyed seeing the fans win even more. Hopefully I prove that I am a true warrior and a true king in the sport. Hopefully we proved that no matter how hard you get hit with trials and tribulations, you can always pick yourself up to live and fight again for what you believe in. Last but not least, I would like to congratulate at Gypsy King 101 for his victory and thank you for the great historical memories that will last forever. Now, it's obvious that Deontay Wilder did not sit there and write that himself. However, whoever wrote it, they had to show it to him and he had to say, yeah, go ahead, post it. So maybe, just maybe somebody over there probably Malik Scott, he's really starting to see sense and they're gonna potentially take the opportunity to completely reinvent Deontay Wilder now. And I'm glad that that is what has emerged as his first official statement. You have to wait and see what the LDBC come out with because they're obviously gonna have their own um, theories and hypotheses and whatnot, but maybe he won't co-sign on it. Maybe Deontay Wilder is really thinking, let me take this opportunity to build upon what's just happened. Great, good, well done. But as you can see in that situation, Tyson Fury was showing a lot of class, a lot of respect and a lot of honour. It's not the first time we've seen Tyson Fury conduct himself in this way. And again, he's not only a warrior, he's a good sport and you got to give him credit, not just for his performance, but for the way he conducts himself in these kinds of situations. Yeah, he might talk a lot of trash. Yeah, he might play a lot of mind games, but when it really comes down to it and there's certain things that needs to be said, he does say, and he's spot on a lot of the time. I mean, he had positive things to say in regards to AJ's loss. He didn't kick him when he was down and that, that means a lot, you know? Show a bit of class at times. But unfortunately, in that moment, he didn't get the same thing back. But at least now we can say that Deontay Wilder seems to be thinking about what he's saying and trying to conduct himself accordingly. So they've now released the pay-per-view numbers for the third fight between these two. It did 600,000 pay-per-view buys. Now, in the grand scheme of things, not a lot of people wanted this fight, me included. I thought this fight was a nothing fight, pointless. But for a fight that nobody, quote unquote, nobody wanted, it didn't do too bad, did it? It was a fight that we're never gonna forget. The pay-per-view numbers weren't that bad, all things considered. I believe they sold out eventually on the night. They sold all their tickets. All in all, you have to say that this was a success. Whether or not they made any money on the back end is yet to be seen because I mean, the second fight, yeah, the fighters got paid, people got paid, but the people running it, top rank or whoever, they had to understand that that whole event did hemorrhage a lot of money. So whether or not they made anything on the back end this time, we'll have to wait and see if anything emerges. So in other boxing news, today I witnessed something that came way out of left field. I did not expect to see this. Manny Pacquiao Jr. is now training with Eddie Reynoso and alongside the pound for pound king, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Imagine, my goodness. Now the footage does look pretty interesting. He has the same kind of hand speed, the same big calves. He looks just like his dad, 
and the possibilities of what kind of boxer he could become under the tutelage of those two is incredible. He gets the thumbs up from Canelo. They're showing him how to loop that right hand because I think um, he's right-handed, unlike his dad who's a southpaw. But I have to say, I was very excited when I saw that. So let's see how his journey is gonna come along. And um, one word of advice, Campbell Hatton, I think maybe you should stay out of his way for a bit. <laughs> Who knows? But I think what we shouldn't do as fans, I think is kind of a mistake that we've made with Chris Eubank Jr. Because we've all looked at him and expected him to be another version of his dad and he's just not. And that kind of spoiled him for me because yeah, his dad did a lot of hyping him up and talking this and that and oh, this one's gonna be better than Floyd Mayweather and all of that kind of stuff. So when we saw how he did against somebody who was really any good, like personally, I was a bit like surprised that he wasn't as good as we would have expected. All in all, he is a fairly okay boxer. You know, he's cracking on with his career, but it must be difficult to be in your dad's shadow in this particular occasion. I mean, we've got the likes of Conor Ben, who is absolutely smashing it. I need to do a video about him actually, because for me, he is my favorite up and coming domestic fighter. Conor Ben is an absolute destroyer, just like his dad. Exciting, he's vicious, he, he don't play this guy. This guy does not play. And again, you know, he's walked his own path. Yeah, he's got his dad there, his dad's influence. He's carrying the Ben name with pride. But to me, he just seems like he's walking his own path and he's doing what he's got to do and he's doing it well. And I'd like to think that maybe Manny Pacquiao Jr. is gonna do the same thing. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. We've got Crawford versus Port coming up, which I'm gonna do another video about that. And I wanna do a video about White and Wileen, which is coming up at the end of the month. Obviously, shortly, well, next month, what's next month is um, Plant versus Canelo. That's gonna be a fantastic fight. I mean, the fight's coming in thick and fast, people. If you ain't got the zone, I suggest you get it. Go and get the zone, because what? they're gonna be putting on for us is gonna be fantastic. But anyway, guys, that's just a quick video. That's me, and I will catch you shortly on the next one. Peace.